Neurodiversity is an approach to learning and mental health that argues various neurological conditions are the result of normal variations in the human genome. Neurodiversity is a portmanteau of neurological and diversity that originated in the late 1990s as a challenge to prevailing views of certain neurological conditions as being inherently pathological, instead asserting that neurological differences should be recognized and respected as a social category on par with gender, ethnicity, sexual orientation, or disability status. The neurodiversity movement describes itself as an international civil rights movement, of which the autism rights movement is its most influential submovement. Citing the classic legal maxim, Nothing about us without us, the movement promotes self advocacy of its members. Neurodiversity advocates promote support systems such as inclusion-focused services, accommodations, communication and assistive technologies, occupational training, and independent living support that allow those who are non-neurotypical to live their lives as they are, rather than being coerced or forced to adopt what neurodiversity proponents see as in critically accepted ideas of normality, or to conform to a clinical ideal. Neurodiversity frames autism, ADHD, dyslexia, and other neurological conditions as natural human variations rather than pathologies or disorders, and rejects the idea that neurological differences need to be or can be cured, instead believing them to be authentic forms of human diversity, self-expression, and being. The movement is controversial and has recently led to several internet-based conflicts and countermovements, with those that define autism as a medical condition and those who see it as a natural difference arguing against each other. Topic: <laughs> Terminology According to the 2011 National Symposium on Neurodiversity held at Syracuse University, neurodiversity is a concept where neurological differences are to be recognized and respected as any other human variation. These differences can include those labeled with dyspraxia, dyslexia, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, dyscalculia, autistic spectrum, Tourette syndrome, and others. Topic: <laughs> Autism Rights Movement The Autism Rights Movement arm is a social movement within the neurodiversity movement that encourages autistic people, their caregivers and society to adopt a position of neurodiversity, accepting autism as a variation in functioning rather than a mental disorder to be cured. The ARM advocates a variety of goals including a greater acceptance of autistic behaviors, therapies that teach autistic individuals coping skills rather than therapies focused on imitating behaviors of neurotypical peers, the creation of social networks and events that allow autistic people to socialize on their own terms, and the recognition of the autistic community as a minority group. Autism rights or neurodiversity advocates believe that the autism spectrum is genetic and should be accepted as a natural natural expression of the human genome. This perspective is distinct from two other views, the mainstream perspective that autism is caused by a genetic defect and should be addressed by targeting the genes that cause autism, and the perspective that autism is caused by environmental factors and could be cured by addressing environmental causes. Many autistic supporters of autism rights describe themselves through words that emphasize the condition as an intrinsic part of their identity identity, such as autistic or aspie, 
for those with Asperger syndrome. This contrasts to a general recommendation by U.S. disability advocacy organizations for the use of person-first language when referring to a person with a medical or mental condition or disability, which emphasizes the person with the condition, who has, rather than is defined by it. There are accepted general arguments for the use of disabled person similarly based on the social model of disability that are recognized in the UK and elsewhere. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Acceptance perspective Members of the various autism rights organizations view autism as a way of life rather than as a disease and thus advocate acceptance over a search for a cure. Some advocates believe that common therapies for the behavioral and language differences associated with autism, like applied behavior analysis, are not only misguided but also unethical. The acceptance perspective Endorsed by the movement is a view that autism is not a disorder, but a normal occurrence—an alternate variation in brain wiring or a less common expression of the human genome. Advocates of this perspective believe that autism is a unique way of being that should be validated, supported and appreciated rather than shunned, discriminated against or eliminated. They believe quirks and uniqueness of autistic individuals should be tolerated as the differences of any minority group should be tolerated and that efforts to eliminate autism should not be compared, for example, to curing cancer but instead to the antiquated notion of curing left-handedness. The arm is a part of the larger disability rights movement, and as such adheres to the social model of disability. Within this model, struggles faced by autistic people are viewed as discrimination rather than deficiencies. Topic: <inaudible> Advocacy. According to Andrew Fenton and Tim Cron, proponents of neurodiversity strive to reconceptualize autism and related conditions in society by the following measures, acknowledging that neurodiversity does not require a cure, changing the language from the current condition, disease, disorder, or illness, based nomenclature and broaden ing the understanding of healthy or independent living, acknowledging new types of autonomy, and giving non-neurotypical individuals more control over their treatment, including the type, timing, and whether there should be treatment at all. A 2009 study by Edward Griffin and David Pollack separated 27 students with autism, dyslexia, developmental coordination disorder, ADHD, and stroke, into two categories of self-view. A difference view, where neurodiversity was seen as a difference incorporating a set of strengths and weaknesses, or a medical deficit view, where neurodiversity was seen as a disadvantageous medical condition. They found that although all of the students reported uniformly difficult schooling careers involving exclusion, abuse, and bullying, those who viewed themselves from a difference view 41% of the study cohort indicated higher academic self-esteem and confidence in their abilities and many expressed considerable career ambitions with positive and clear goals." Many of these students reported gaining this view of themselves through contact with neurodiversity advocates in online support groups. A 2013 online survey said this. Such a deficit as difference conception of autism suggests the importance of harnessing autistic traits in developmentally beneficial ways, transcending a false dichotomy between celebrating differences and ameliorating deficit. 
In 2013, German computer software giant SAP, seeking innovation that comes from the edges, launched a recruitment drive for software testers specifically seeking autistic people. Freddie Mac, the U.S. home financing firm, aimed its hiring campaign's second round of paid internships at autistic students. History The neurodiversity paradigm was initially embraced by individuals on the autism spectrum, but subsequent groups have applied the concept to other developmental conditions such as ADHD, developmental speech disorders, dyslexia, dyspraxia, dyscalculia, dysnomia, intellectual disability and Tourette syndrome, mental health conditions such as bipolarity, schizophrenia, schizoaffective affective disorder, antisocial personality disorder, and obsessive-compulsive disorder. The term neurodiversity represents a move away from the mother-blaming refrigerator mother theories of the 20th century. The term is attributed to Judy Singer, an Australian social scientist on the autism spectrum, and it first appeared in print in an article by journalist Harvey Bloom, which did not credit Singer, in The Atlantic on September 30, 1998. Neurodiversity may be every bit as crucial for the human race as biodiversity is for life in general. Who can say what form of wiring will prove best at any given moment? Cybernetics and computer culture, for example, may favor a somewhat autistic cast of mind. In a New York Times piece on June 30, 1997, Bloom did not use the term neurodiversity", but he did describe the foundation of the idea in the phrase, "...neurological pluralism". Yet, in trying to come to terms with an nt neurotypical dominated world, autistics are neither willing nor able to give up their own customs. Instead, they are proposing a new social compact, one emphasizing neurological pluralism. The consensus emerging from the Internet forums and web sites where autistics congregate is that NT is only one of many neurological configurations, the dominant one certainly, but not necessarily the best. Bloom was an early advocate who predicted the role the Internet would play in fostering the international neurodiversity movement, writing, There is a political dimension to this bond with the Internet. A project called Cyberspace 2000 is devoted to getting as many people as possible in the autistic spectrum hooked up by the year 2000, reason being that the Internet is an essential means for autistic people to improve their lives, because it is often the only way they can communicate effectively. The challenge we will all be increasingly confronted with, online and off, is, to look at ourselves differently than we have before, that is, to accept neurological diversity. Some authors also credit the earlier work of autistic advocate Jim Sinclair, who was a principal early organizer of the international online autism community. Sinclair's 1993 speech don't mourn for us," mentioned that some parents considered their child's autism diagnosis as the most traumatic thing that ever happened to them. Sinclair, who did not speak until the age of 12, addressed the communal grief parents felt by asking them to try to take the perspectives of autistic people themselves. Non-autistic people see autism as a great tragedy, and parents experience continuing disappointment and grief at all stages of the child's and family's life cycle. But this grief does not stem from the child's autism in itself. 
It is grief over the loss of the normal child the parents had hoped and expected to have. There's no normal child hidden behind the autism. Autism is a way of being. It is pervasive, it colors every experience, every sensation, perception, thought, emotion, and encounter, every aspect of existence. It is not possible to separate the autism from the person. And if it were possible, the person you'd have left would not be the same person you started with. This is important, so take a moment to consider it. Autism is a way of being. It is not possible to separate the person from the autism. The term, neurodiversity, has since been applied to other conditions and has taken on a more general meaning, for example, the Developmental Adult Neurodiversity Association DANDA in the UK encompasses Developmental Coordination Disorder, ADHD, Asperger's Syndrome and related conditions. Topic. Criticism The concept of neurodiversity is controversial. Those supporting the medical model of disability, such as Professor Maggie Snowling, identify the mental differences associated with these conditions as disorders, deficits, and dysfunctions, intrinsic differences in functioning which cause impairments in many areas of life. From this point of view, the mental states that are encompassed by neurodiversity are medical conditions that can and should be treated. Author David Pollack sees neurodiversity as an inclusive term for the equality of all possible mental states. Still other professionals in higher education reject the word because they think it sounds too medical. Jarsma and Wellen wrote in 2011 that the broad version of the neurodiversity claim, covering low-functioning as well as high-functioning autism, is problematic. Only a narrow conception of neurodiversity, referring exclusively to high-functioning autists, is reasonable. They say that, higher-functioning, individuals with autism may not be benefited with such a psychiatric defect-based diagnosis. Some of them are being harmed by it, because of the disrespect the diagnosis displays for their natural way of being. But think that it is still reasonable to include other categories of autism in the psychiatric diagnostics. The narrow conception of the neurodiversity claim should be accepted but the broader claim should not. Those who view autism as a disabling developmental disease, such as parent groups and research organizations, consider that the acceptance perspective of neurodiversity insults the suffering of its patients and their families. Biology professor Jerry Coyne says that in its extreme, neurodiversity wishes to deny medical treatment for any person with a mental condition, particularly autism, even if the person wants a medical treatment. In 2019, the National Council on Severe Autism was formed to address those concerns by putting a greater emphasis on issues associated with low functioning autism. Topics to be addressed include housing arrangements, adequate developmental services, and scientific research. Amy Lutz, the organization's secretary, stated that most autistic individuals served by the organization cannot advocate for themselves, saying, We fully support self-advocates pursuing the support that they need, but this is completely separate. Jonathan Mitchell, an autistic author and blogger who is a vocal opponent of the neurodiversity movement and an advocate for research for a cure for autism, criticizes the concept of neurodiversity for providing simplistic solutions to hard problems and trivializing the disabling aspects of autism. 
He considers his condition to have negatively affected his life, describing autism as having prevented me from making a living or ever having a girlfriend. It's given me bad fine motor coordination problems where I can hardly write. I have an impaired ability to relate to people. I can't concentrate or get things done." He describes neurodiversity as a "...tempting escape valve." For many of the people who are on the autism spectrum, and commenting on the supposition of a general acceptance of neurodiversity by those on the spectrum, he says that, "...most persons with an autism spectrum disorder have never expressed their opinions on someone's blog and never will." He states that neurodiversity has no solution for low-functioning autistic people. He also criticizes Temple Grandin for making generalizations about the condition and the experiences of those with it, saying that her generalizations trivialize his suffering. Due to these positions, Mitchell is one of the most controversial voices in the autistic blogosphere, and has been highly criticized by many members of the neurodiversity movement. Topic. See also Autistic Pride Day Disability Rights Movement Diversity Training Mad Pride Movement Outsider Art Psychiatric Survivors Movement Societal and Cultural Aspects of Tourette Syndrome